Hey Mofeed, this is Dusty over here at German Auto. Just want to go over some stuff with you. Um, just want to show you the, the way the AC system works. It works mainly off of pressures. If you're looking at these two gauges, this is the high side. Um, this is the pressure that we're worried about. As you can see, it's going up above 250, it's inching to 300. Um, what's happening is that as this thing gets above 350 and closer to 400, it has a, a relief valve that will automatically discharge the AC pressure. If you look over here, one of, there's two things that control that. One is making sure that the condenser gets cooled off. The fans are, are working right now. Um, so what we ended up doing first is uh, replacing the valve that controls the pressure because it was melted on the inside. Uh, so we got that taken care of, but we're still having issues with the pressure. Um, right, if you look right here in the front, this is the AC condenser. And what happens is when those fans turn on, it allows enough airflow through it to, to maintain this pressure. The computer is uh, commanding it to, uh, to come on as far as the engine fans and high speed, but they're only coming on a low speed. If you look, and we'll try and flash light on the pressure. Yeah. pressure. I'm going to activate the fans manually, and you'll be able to see the pressure drop. I'm activating them. You see those pressures drop significantly fast. Um, what's controlling the fans is the fan module. That is uh, not functioning correctly. It's being asked to turn on the fans full blast and it's not. It's about 25%. Uh, usually when it gets above 250 it should command at least 80 to, a, to 100% to maintain pressure. It's not able to do that. Because of that it's going above its range discharging the, the refrigerant and causing a a no cooling symptom. So that's what we found in your car. Hope this helps and uh, let us know what you want to do.